one leg assembly for the biped brat. You can see how it's broken up. This would be the foot, the ankle, the shin, the knee joint right here, the thigh, and the hip. And like any biped, the legs have to have symmetry. These are the three main sub-assemblies to the brat leg. The foot and part of the ankle. Notice that you have to use countersink screws on here so that it sits on the ground flat and level so that they don't sit up. Then this is the ankle and the shin. Uh, something to keep in mind here is that as you're building this, keep the long end of the L bracket up, the short end of the L bracket down towards the ankle. And the thigh, which attaches to the hip, is just two C brackets. As you look at your foot, think of this as the heel and this is the toe. And we need to attach our ankle like so. Each of these joints has to have a bearing on one side. And we're going to install a bearing here and the servo goes on the other. As you build this, it's going to be good to know that all of the servo horns should line up and stay to the outside edge of the robot. So when the servo goes in here, it's going to be pointing to the outside of the robot. So to install a bearing, you're going to use a screw, a nut, a bolt, and don't forget the lock washer. Replace the bearing and the screw through the outside of the joint, like so. The lock washer then goes on on the inside of the joint, and then that gets placed in the foot. Notice that how with the bearing, it allows the joint to move freely so that when the servo is on, it will move free. And notice that also the lock washer acts as a spacer so that the servo will fit in the joint. Here's our second completed leg. Notice that all of the servos, once they're installed, which comes shortly, all the servo horns are out on this side so that the bearings line up on one side, servo horns on the other. So here's our completed leg. Remember, all of the bearings should line up on one side and all the servo horns will line up on the other. If we take our second leg, the two will attach at the hip just like this. And notice that when I hold those in place, notice how they're symmetrical. Notice how that they're opposite, everything's built opposite. If you follow the directions, it shows you how to do this. Also, before we attach them together, keep in mind that there are only three screws in this, and they're there for a reason. This bracket is centered on the other bracket. The channel is centered on this servo bracket so that there isn't a fourth hole. A couple things to watch when you install the servos. Notice that the horns can only go in one way. And start with the ankles and make sure that the wires go up behind the knee and then, then both those wires come up and go behind the hip joint so that they all come out at the top. Do that on both sides and be sure to stretch the, the, make sure that the wires don't get pinched by making sure that it will go both ways, all the way, in all of the different joints.
Now it's time to install the electronics. The first thing you want to do is mount the carrier board as per the instructions. Be sure to follow the instructions for all of these steps. Then we're going to attach the switch and the battery plugs in here. The battery itself will slide down into the C channel and connect over here. We've installed the SSC32 with the Bluetooth B and it's wired, the Bluetooth B is wired to the plus and the minus on inputs A and B. This leg is plugged into uh, 16, 17, and 18 for the servos and on this side for 0, 1, and 2. Please follow the directions that come with it, uh, the assembly instructions, and I'll show you exactly how to put those on. The power comes into VS1, plus is red, minus is negative, and then your wiring is complete.